accidents. Let's talk about this. Okay. So you, uh, I watched your last monologue, as I do, and you talk about uh, whether things are planned or whether they're accidents, right? I think all of the most wonderful moments uh, when I was uh, acting, or you know, and I hope to again one day, the best bits were the, always the mistakes, almost the accidents, the happy accidents that brought things together and that mm. created something like that. Now we, those of us who feel how we feel seem to have divided into two camps a little bit in my view the people that the the toby youngs who and the julia hartley brewers who say this is just incompetence the whole thing is just incompetence mm. and then there are the then you've got the you know as far down the rabbit hole as you can go with the delling poles i mean i love them all by the way i'm mm -hmm. my heart is open to everybody who is awake is is what is uh, two questions What's going on, and is it deliberate? I started out uh, hoping, because I come from a place of... I was never politically engaged for the, for most of my life. I'd, I've never been a card-carrying member of anything. And I, I've always been somebody who I just assumed, in a lazy fashion, really, that those who were in positions of authority had the country's best interests at heart, be they red or blue or, or, or yellow. Uh, I, I thought that they were coming from a place of wanting a peaceful nation in which people could thrive and that they all just had different ideas about how that might best be achieved. And that was largely, as I say, a lazy assumption that I was making without looking into it. I, I, I slid through the first <laughs> 50 years of my life thinking that because my mind was elsewhere and I was looking in another direction while all of that was going on. And so when all of this started to happen a couple of years ago, I, I preferred to think, for the sake of my own sanity, that it was incompetence. Mm. I thought, this is just people out of their depth. Because I had long felt that, you know, politics was not attracting, you know, what they used to call big beasts anymore. I felt that certainly in the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years, it was, it, it was people that I thought, that old thing about, it's all about public service and really these people could be making fortunes in private business and so on. And I, f I think that was believable about a generation of politicians, but it's definitely not believable about this generation of politicians, I don't think. I think in the main they're in it for what they can get out of it and it's their best option. And I felt uh, this, this has just been too big for them and they've fumbled the ball. And I felt like that for... I don't know, a few months, I suppose. We're talking about, now we're, we're in March Back, 2020. Let's, let's, yeah, right from the beginning, I thought this has just overwhelmed them. They've been frightened by the images that they've seen coming out of China. They've been even more frightened by the images they've seen coming out of Italy and they've thought we best be seen to be doing something. And the, and the media, the, the, the mainstream media, by and large, was, was baying for blood. You know, we must, we must do everything possible to avert this uh, imminent disaster. I don't think that anymore, and I haven't for the longest time. So for a year and a half, I felt that there was intent and that COVID was uh, was being used, was an opportunity, was a key in a door that had hitherto been difficult to unlock. And it unlocked a door for those who I think were intent on having a centralised authority. And you can call that a world government or a great reset or a new world order or whatever. But Just I communism. Think, I think that 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 desire to have a centralised world, one one star chamber, people in it, unelected, unaccountable, largely anonymous, making decisions and all of that, coming out to the to the wider population, nation states set aside. I, that is, I think that has been. I think that is definitely there now. And that was a very uncomfortable realisation for me to come to because I would have liked it much better if I thought they were just hapless fools. Uh, now I think they're largely irrelevant and decisions that matter are being taken by people that we don't really know. Do you feel... Um, so I, I agree with that 100%. I think it, it, there are only so many coincidences in a row before you start to go. It's not.